great. So we are focused on respiration um, and really uh, kind of getting in touch with the this power that we have um, to use our breath to whatever end we wish to use our breath for, right? So we can use it to climb a mountain and we can use it to calm our nervous system and all kinds of things in between. Um, we will need a strap of some kind, um, some kind of band that you can wrap around yourself um, and use today. And we're gonna start supine. So coming down on your back, And you may choose to have legs long or to bend your uh, bend your knees, whatever feels comfortable to you. If you bend your knees, you can invite your knees to rest against each other in a constructive rest. And just sort of settle your skeleton and settle your muscles down on the floor and see how your breath feels right now. Just notice it without altering it. Just notice your breath. Coming into your interior space, coming into your interior awareness, noticing how you feel today. See any sensations? Let's uh, separate our knees and really have our feet. I like to have my feet under my knees so I can reach them, uh, my fingertips to reach my Achilles. <laughs> and we're going to come to to bridge and use bridge for some conscious breathing here, all right? So let's just warm up with three move coming up and down at your own pace. Let's use an inhalation to float up and an exhalation to settle back down. And let's actually take two more to prepare. So one more inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Now we're going to inhale and come up and stay in the bridge, okay? So I wanna inhale to come up and now breathe freely. And I'm gonna ask you to walk your shoulders underneath you, clasp your hands underneath you, and stay elevated. And you could be high up, you could be a little bit lower, wherever it's comfortable for you. You're using your feet, your arms underneath you, your shoulders, your head to hold you up. Now come into your breath awareness here. Just notice your inhalations and your exhalations. So my inhalation fills lungs and belly. My exhalation empties the air. The nice little flows, just be in the flow. Now I'm gonna invite you to notice a detail. So when you inhale, notice the end of the inhale. And then exhale, and notice the end of the exhale. I'm not asking for a pause, I'm just asking for a noticing of the transition moment. Beautiful, let's inhale fully. Now lower myself to exhale. So I'm gonna take my shoulders out, take my arms out, and I settle back down. Tuck my knees in, maybe rock my sacrum, take the tension that might have accrued in my glutes, 
from holding myself up like that. Great. Now let's add to this awareness that we're building. So we're going to inhale up, and this time we're gonna add a very slight pause at the top of the inhalation. Then we're gonna exhale down and add a very slight pause at the bottom of the exhalation. The pause is, is there, but it's slight. It's not so much that it creates any anxiety about, oh my God, I'm holding my breath. I don't want any kind of anxiety. I'm just going to inhale and float up, pause, exhale and float down, pause. Keep going at your own pace. Last time through. Beautiful. Hug your knees in. We're gonna come around so you can either roll to your side or if you like, you can roll up. We're gonna come around to all fours. Uh, hands under shoulders. Knees, hip width, under hips. If I have trouble with my wrists, I can be on fists here. I like to spread my hand wide and use every single knuckle to hold me up. So it's almost like I could lift my wrists up because my whole hand is holding me up. And I do like to uh, draw my elbows back or my triceps back behind me. And then my arms feel a little bit stronger. And I'm finding the length of my spine here. So notice if my pelvis tips up, um, uh, my, my tailbone is up in the air. And then notice if I pull it under, my tailbone's under. And I actually want to find the neutral place where my tailbone is sort of drawn straight back behind me. So see if you can find that neutral place. And then we're going to come into cat and cow. So I'm gonna inhale, now my pelvis does tip up, my head comes up, my shoulders go back, big inhale to for cow, and then I'm gonna exhale, squeezing the air out as I pull my body up and into my scaredy cat position. Keep going at your own pace here, just really enjoying the full flow of the movement supported by your breath. <laughs> Warming up the whole body here, feeling how the air can energize our movement. Couple more here. Beautiful. When you come out of your cat, find that nice neutral location again. And my head is part of that neutrality, right? So my neck is in line with my spine. I'm looking down at the mat. I'm not looking forward and I'm not dipped down. My head is nicely in line with my spine. And let's come to bird dog here. And, and again, I want to focus on using the breath to support the movement. So I'm gonna inhale and lift my left arm and my right leg. So this is an inhalation. And then I'm gonna exhale and float back in and then change sides. So inhale and exhale. A few more of those. Limbs reach, torso is still. other than the movement of my air. One more time. Beautiful, let's put the toes together. Slide back to whatever child pose is for you. I'm reaching my hands forward, pushing my hips back. 
you may not be as low as me, but wherever you are, you just want your hips going in the direction of back behind you. And your forehead should be able to connect with the floor. Maybe it connects on your on your hands if that's better for you. You you could put a block there too if you had one. And let's just breathe here. Feel how the belly as it inflates, pushes against my thighs and my legs, and then as I exhale, it pulls away from my legs. Let's walk to the right. So I'm going to stay pretty low and I'm just walking my body around to the right. And I'm stretching and feel here like I'm opening my left lung in a particular way. My head could be hovering or it could touch the ground, whichever, wherever is fine. I can put a hand under my head if that's more comfortable. Um, you know, my, my body's sort of over my right leg. And just breathe here now. Really feel like I'm inflating my left lung that's exposed here. And the left side of my body. Let's just notice how the air feels in this position. Featuring the left side. Beautiful. Inhale to walk back to center. Let's have a couple of cycles of breath. In the center, just noticing any um, feedback from that action that we took, taking ourselves to the right and opening the left. Maybe the right is asking for some attention so we can walk our arms around to the left and hover there and come into your breath. So now I've exposed the right side of my body and just really breathe into the right side of my body. Inhale to walk back to center. Couple of breaths here, just feeling both sides now. And then push yourself up. We're gonna come up to a seated position. And you could end up wanting to stay kneeling. That's an option, or you can come and sit into an easy seat. Whatever feels the best to you is perfect for me. And we're gonna sit, I do wanna have my strap within, uh, within arm's reach. Um, so a lot of this practice is about, um, you know, this exploration of where do I feel the air movement as I inhale and as, as I exhale, where do I feel that movement in my body? And just inviting, you know, more awareness of where it can be, because often in life, if we're very active, we're, we might be breathing super shallowly, right, and never really engaging our diaphragm. So this next thing we're going to do is really to really focus on the diaphragmatic breath. So I'm going to take my strap, I'm taking it around, and it, I'm basically finding the low-ish part of my, of my ribs, the lowest part of my ribs, just sort of mid-chest. And I usually wrap it around in a kind of, then the, each strap is in each hand. And then, now what I want to do is I'm going to just relax my arms and I'm going to inhale and feel how the strap pushes out. And I'm going to, my ribs push the strap out. I'm going to exhale and feel how it draws in like an almost tug on the exhale. So I have to loosen on the inhale. 
And I can tug on the exhale. You're sitting up nice and tall. Just noticing this diaphragmatic breathing, which is our friend when we want to relax and calm. And is our friend when we need a big exertion. But maybe we activate it a little bit less when I'm rushing and breathing more shallowly during the day. One more. Right, the strap can go by the side. We're going to get involved with this strap again uh, prior to Savasana. So put it maybe to the side by your mat, not so far away. And finding your tall, tall, and really just feeling kind of the whole avenue of air from my nose all the way down to the bottom of my belly. Sort of feel, feel that whole space, stretch that whole space up. And we're going to uh, play with a specific technique that is uh, almost a little bit closer to how we might breathe in our active life, which is the breath of fire. Um, and the intention here is that I'm gonna passively inhale, but I'm gonna punch the exhale. So I'm trying to punch the exhale. And we can do it as, we can do it super quickly or we can do it a little bit less quickly. Halabhati is the San Sanskrit name for it, but it's the breath of fire. Um, so let's try that sitting here nice and tall. So I'm going to passively inhale. So on the exhale, I'm really pulling all my core muscles in on the exhale, punching it. I can open my mouth or I can close my mouth and, and punch out my punch out my nostril. All right, relax everything. We're gonna use the breath of fire with some motion a little bit later in our practice. Uh, right now, let's try a little um, seated cat and cow using our breath just seated. And I'll turn to the side so this is clear. So I'm sitting up nice and tall and I'm gonna inhale and arch up for cow. I'm gonna exhale and put in for cat. So it's a little soft cat and cow with my breath in this seated position. One more cycle. Beautiful. We'll do some. I'm, gonna, I'm actually. I'm going to change myself to see cross-legged. Let's do some twisting and stretching now. So I'm going to inhale my arms up, and I'm going to exhale. And I'm just going over to the right. My left hip is going to stay anchored. Right hand down, maybe right elbow down. See how far I can stretch out and breathe here, and just again really fill this side body with air. In particular, right, the, the open side feels a little bit different than the crunched side for this breathing. Inhale up, we'll exhale, take it the other way. So hand and then maybe elbow, really reach over, but keeping this right hip down and then fill this right space with air. Inhale up. So depending on my body position, inhale my arms up. We're gonna exhale into a twist. I'm gonna exhale, I'm turning to the right. My right hand has come down, my left hand's on my knee. I'm gonna push a little bit here on my knee and I'm gonna turn my head and look back behind me. So notice how a twist, notice how that feels with your breath mechanism to just sort of have turned your belly in this twist and breathe here. And 
Inhale back to center, we'll take it the other way. Exhale, turning to the left. Left hand down, right hand on my knee. I'm gonna tug a little bit on that knee, but mostly I'm gonna turn and look away and turn my shoulders away and breathe here. Noticing just the action of the twist on my breath. And inhale back to center. We like twists a lot in yoga because they're uh, they're very good. They're actually really good for our digestion. Um, so let us come around back to all fours. And we're going to get ready to come up into a down dog so you can kind of conceive of that uh, before we do it. Strong hands, strong arms, toes are tucked. And as I inhale, my knees leave the floor and I keep inhaling and lifting my hips as high as I can. When I get there, I can breathe fully and just pedal, inhaling and exhaling while I pedal and just explore how my dog feels today to me. Feeling my weight is even between my hands and my feet. Hips lifted up behind me, chest is melting towards my thighs, back is super long, head is relaxed, arms are strong by my ears. And then inhale fully into your down dog. You just feel the beauty of your down dog. With a big inhalation, open your mouth and exhale. Let's inhale our right leg up. Exhale, step my right foot forward, gear my right hand. I'm gonna keep my left foot on the ball unless I need more support, in which case I could put it down uh, at a 45 degree angle for warrior one. And think about it before you do it. So my hands are still on the ground, my feet are on the ground. I'm gonna feel strong in my legs and I'm gonna inhale all the way up to a high lunge. So using my core, it, use my legs, use my core, inhale all the way up to a high lunge, lengthening your tailbone here, lifting your chest, relaxing your shoulders, and breathing here, good. Now, take the inhalation. I'm gonna exhale, I'm gonna bow forward, and I'm reaching my fingers forward. Inhale, come back up, there's my action. Exhale. Head staying in line with my spine, and exhale. And inhale, come up. Let's exhale and put our hands down. If I'd like to take a vinyasa flow, I can. Otherwise, I can just take myself up into down dog. And we will meet there with a nice big inhalation. <laughs> Open our mouths, exhale. Inhale, my left leg up. Step my left foot forward, same thing. Strength of legs, strength of core. Inhale on up. Exhale to bow. Inhale. Feel your strength. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Same thing, my hands come down. I have the choice of vinyasa flow, or I can just go ahead and take myself up into down dog. Big inhalation here. Open my mouth and exhale. Beautiful. Let's inhale and come on our um, tip, our toes. Exhale, walk it forward, forward fold, super relaxed position. My knees are bent, my hips are hinged, my head is down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse one that all the way up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Beautiful. We will do some standing work now. So I'm gonna to turn to face you. So just feel your really strong um, Tadasana 
stance. So I'm about hip width apart. I feel my feet connected to the floor. I feel the energy coming up the front of me. So my core is elevated towards my heart. My chest is elevated, my shoulders are relaxed. My head is floating. And then the energy is drawing down, down my back so that my tailbone, my, my vertebrae drawing down my tailbone, drawing down the energy going all the way down to my heels, right? And then it circles up and around. That's how the energy feels like a cycle here. As I stand in Tadasana, great. And let's inhale our arms up and we'll go into a stretch. So plant my left heel and I'm gonna fall over to the right. My arm can come down. Same thing, breathing into the left side of my body. Inhale, up, exhale. Take me the other way, right heel plants. Breathing into the right side of my body. Inhale, up, exhale, relax for a moment. I just noticed that I need to plug in the computer. <laughs> so the computer can breathe too. Okay. Now we're gonna take it into this little, uh, a standing half moon. You might've done a, a supine half moon. So what I wanna do is um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cross my, uh, my left leg over my right leg, and I'm going to lift my arms up in the air and put my and put my left arm, my left hand wrist in front of my right wrist. And then what I want to do is I'm just dipping my, leaning a little bit to the left, right? So I'm sort of pushing my hips to the left, pulling my shoulders to the right, leaving my feet where they are. So it's a little standing half moon and breathe here. Same sensation, just feel like there's maybe a little bit more air on this side of my body. We do this supine quite a bit. Inhale and come up, leave your hands, switch your hands and then switch your feet. And then we're gonna take it the other way. So my Hips are going to the right, my, my arms are going to the left, and I'm opening the right side of my body and breathing here. Inhale to come up. Now step so my feet are right next to each other, palms are together over my head, and we're gonna play with the breath of fire in the, in the following manner. You can watch me for one. I'm gonna inhale passively, I'm gonna exhale sharply and drop a little bit to the right. I'm gonna inhale. And we can, you set your pace, okay? So you could go faster or slower than me. One more time. Big inhale to bring my arms down. Exhale to step apart, shake it out. So again, we're just opening and, and inviting an expansion of our breath in the practice today. We're gonna now use it in, in a standing series that is more familiar. Standing at the front of my mat. Nice and tall. I'm gonna inhale my arms up. I'm gonna exhale and I'm gonna step back into warrior two. So my arms float down as I find, feel the strength of my legs underneath me, strength of my core to hold me up, strength of my chest and my back. Breathing here. Let's inhale, let's exhale, reverse it. So my left arm is coming up, I'm looking at my left hand. 
Let's inhale, my arms come up, my legs straighten. Let's, let's exhale over into triangle. So I'm turning my whole torso to the side of the room. My hips stay naturally where they're comfortable. My hand lands wherever it lands, perhaps on the floor, perhaps on a block. And I'm going to breathe here. Inhale to come up, bending my knee. I'm going to exhale to reverse. I'm going to inhale, my arms come up. I'm going to exhale, step into the front. And I'm going to inhale here. Then I'm going to exhale and sing into the chair pose. Inhale here. I'm going to exhale. I'm going to turn to the right. Cycle breath here. Inhale back to center. Exhale to stand up. I'm ready to go to side two. Inhale my arms up. Exhale, step my left leg back. Inhale into warrior two. Feel cycles of breath as I really feel my strength from my feet to the crown of my head. All that beautiful length. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, my arms are up. I straighten my leg. Exhale, I'm reaching up and over, square to the side of my room, into triangle. I'm going to breathe here. Inhale, to come up. Exhale, bending that knee. I'm reversing my rear. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, step to the front of my mat. Inhale to sink into chair. Exhale, twist to the left. Cycle of breath here. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, stand up. And we will add on. Inhale here. Exhale, step into warrior two, side one. Inhale. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, arms up, legs straightens. Exhale, over to triangle. Inhale, come back up. And exhale here. We're into a high triangle. So I'm going to inhale uh, with breath of fire. Inhale, passively. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Switch your feet completely. Exhale. Last time. Inhale to switch my feet back. Exhale, bend the knee, reverse. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale to sink back into chair. Exhale, revolve to the right. Inhale, back. Exhale, stand up. Inhale, release and hold. Exhale, stepping my left leg back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, arms up, straight leg. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, back up. Exhale, arms up in the air. Inhale, passively. Exhale, high triangle. Inhale, transition feet. Inhale to transition feet. Exhale, bend the knee to reverse. Inhale to step forward. Exhale, sinking into chair. Inhale here. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale up and relax. Shake it out for a moment. We've got another, another addition.
Uh, so, okay. tall. let's inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exhale. Mm -hmm. Inhale, straighten my front leg. Exhale, triangle. We are moving on the breath. Inhale, back up. Exhale, high triangle. Inhale, back up. Exhale to step forward. And then inhale, lowering my arms. We're going to come into tree next. I'm going to turn so I'm facing you. So using my right leg as my standing leg, hugging hips and activating core. I can have a, I, I could use a kickstand if I need it. I can be here. I can be, I can be here. So wherever I like my tree is what I'm going to pick. So, and let's have Anjali Mudra hands in front of my heart. So pick your tree position. The, the bent leg is externally rotated. So the glutes are doing that. Foot is pressed into the leg, hips are hugging in, core is activated, shoulders are relaxed, crown is reaching. And if you're confident there, you can bring your arms up and breathe. Exhale, step away, shake it out. Inhale, front of my mat. I'm going to exhale, stepping back, my left leg in. Exhale. Inhale, my arms up straight, my leg. Exhale, low triangle. Inhale, back up. Exhale, high triangle. Inhale, back up. Exhale, step. Forward, inhale, my arms come down, ready for tree on side two. So hugging hips in, activating core. I find the position that this leg can come into for my tree pose. And hands in Anjali Mudra. Feeling that extra rotation. So the glute is externally rotating this leg. The, the foot is making contact with the other leg. Hips hugging in, core activated, chest elevated, shoulders relaxed, crown is reaching, and I'm breathing. Notice how your breath, notice how your breath can support your balance when you're ready. So this nice, easeful breath is helping to hold you here. You can exhale to step out, shake everything out. <clears throat> that was great. How am I on time? Not too bad on time. All right. We are ready to come to the front of our mat. Let's inhale our arms up. Exhale, really take this forward fold. Really enjoy this forward fold. My head is really down. And just kind of sway from side to side. Just really release the tension that may have accrued. Use your breath. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. And then let's insert one knee back, the other knee back. And let's just and let's just sit. Let's just sit down. And we're gonna come into another twist. So my legs are gonna start out long in front of me. Sometimes I like to sort of draw my cheeks out, sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna slide my right foot in so it's next to my knee. Sometimes some people like to cross it over. So whatever serves you is fine by me. And then I'm gonna show you some options here. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. So I'm gonna inhale my arms up. I'm gonna exhale, I am turning towards this leg and I can just kind of grab it 
and square my shoulders and I can be right here. So that would be option number one. Option number two is to hook my elbow and lift my hand. And then option number three is to actually reach around behind me and take this hand and come into a um, bind. And I feel like I should turn around so you can see what that vine looks like from more fully. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. So take whatever works for you. We'll breathe here for a few moments. Relax out of that. And we'll get ready to come into side two. So I'm going to slide my left foot in near my knee or across it, whatever I like. Inhale my arms up. Exhale, turn towards me. I can hug it like this and square my shoulders. I can hook my elbow in with my hand. And I can around right if that works for me and come into this top, this box. And inhale and come back out of that. Great. As I said in yoga, we love these twists because it's actually they're really these twists are really great for our digestion. Let's have our, our strap handy. We're going to come back supine. So lowering yourself back down to the ground and just kind of settle there for a moment, knees bent or legs straight, and just come into your breath and just notice how your breath feels now. Through all of our exploration. <clears throat> and let's let's work with our leg and our hamstring. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my right leg in and I'm gonna put the strap on the Kind of across the arch of my foot and i'm going to start by straightening my leg in this perpendicular position and i can hold on to the strap with both hands and this leg can stay bent or it can lengthen whatever feels better to me and then what i want to do is let my the weight of my arms pull this leg back to engage in a hamstring stretch and everybody's going to be a little bit different you know if, if all of a sudden what i'm doing looks like ouch to you don't go that far. You be worried because even here I can stretch my hamstring. So just kind of take it to where it naturally goes for you and breathe there. Beautiful, and I'm gonna pivot so this will be clearer. So I'm here right now, and I'm gonna inhale, and then what I wanna do is I can take the strap with my left hand, and I'm gonna let my leg go out to the right. So my hand is, is sliding down the strap, and, and if I wanna grab with the other hand, I can too. And I'm seeing if I can keep this hip down as opposed to letting this hip roll over. So I'm trying to keep my left hip down as my right leg stretches out to the side. So everybody will be a little bit different here. Just take it where it is for you and we'll breathe. My shoulders are essentially still down. My right shoulder, maybe, I mean, my left one is just slightly elevated because I'm holding the strap. And then inhale and bring it back up. And then we're gonna take it in one more direction, which is, which is to the left. So same, so you can see if I want, it's actually easier if my left hand holds the strap, let my leg drop over to the left and breathe here. Beautiful, and inhale to come back up. Let's free that leg, maybe hug that knee in a little bit. 
and then lengthen that leg away if that's how you did it the last time or you can bend that knee, whatever works better for you. We're ready for side two. So I'm gonna take my left foot up across the arch. Both hands can grip and then sort of take it into that hamstring stretch back first. So the hamstring has actually three bands of muscle and, and two are stretched in this position. The other is stretched in the side position, the inner band. Um, we also are a little bit involved with our IT band too, which we'll have to do. All right, so opposite hand is gonna guide me as I drop keeping this right hip down as I drop over to the side, but in both hands can help. My shoulders stay open, but the right shoulder's a little bit off the ground. Breathe here. I'm stretching the inner band of the bicep, of the hamstring here. Okay, I might have said bicep. By mistake, hamstring, hamstring. Inhale up, and then Probably the same hand, uh, opposite hand is going to pull me over. And now I'm a little bit more involved with my IT band. Breathe here. And inhale up, let's release that foot, hug that knee in. And the strap can come aside. Let's hug both knees in. And let's grab a little happy baby or any final pose your body wants to take. We're going to head into Savasana. So if, like me, you took the layers off, um, you may want to put layers back on. Um, is we invite ourselves to relax for a few moments on the mat, integrating our practice with Savasana. So when you are organized, you can stretch your legs out and stretch your arms out. I really like to invite palms up by my side and I feel that that allows my arm bone to go into the socket and my shoulders to relax back down on the ground supporting me. Just come into your breath and spend some time uh, asking your muscles to relax, right? So if you feel any tension, send some air into where the tension is so you can breathe into the tension and invite it to release for you. I like to lengthen my tailbone underneath me. So as we invite ourselves into Savasana, let's come into basically a passive breath, right? So just a nice, easeful inhalation and a nice, easeful exhalation. So we're far away from the breath of fire. We're not putting any particular pressure in either direction on our system. We're just kind of enjoying the natural pace of our breath. As we might when we were inviting sleep at night. A few moments of stillness here for Savas.
you can deepen your breath. As you're watching the video, you can also choose to stay in Savasana longer. So wiggle fingers and toes to get some movement. Let that wiggling grow into some stretching of your limbs. Noticing how your respiratory system feels while stretching. Go ahead and roll over to the side, head on arm, knees relaxed, and just breathe here. I didn't really talk about just thinking about something made me think of yawning. Um, just kind of a natural response of our respiratory system when it needs something. And same thing with sighing, right? So sighing can be very relaxing to just let the air go and sigh. So let's get ready to come up. So I'm gonna put my top hand down and press. I'm gonna reach my top leg and just press myself up. Take all the time you need. Come up and sit up nice and tall. Find that beautiful length in our torso. Maybe my hands are down on my knees. Let's flutter our eyes closed or be downcast and let's share some final breaths together. Let's inhale through our nostrils and open our mouth and sigh it out. Oh. Sigh it out. And sign out. Thank you for joining me for this deep respiratory practice today. I really love doing this all week, this week. And next week, we're going to turn our attention to, it's a little related, but we're going to kind of go side body and into the latissimus and just kind of trying to sort of open and explore uh, opening there as well as exploring strength there. Um, so that'll be the work of, um, of next week. So thank you for being with me today. <laughs>